Birth can be a beautiful experience, but it can also give life to some hilarious moments. Congratulations, Reg. It's a squid. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hilarious movie labor scenes. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at big screen scenes leading up to childbirth that generated serious laughs. We're basing our choices on a mix of the angry outbursts and bizarre dialogue that made each scene so memorable. It just really hurts. <laughs> Number 10. Sleeping Pills, Father of the Bride Part 2. Dad, what are you taking? Well, Dad hadn't been sleeping so well lately, so I thought I'd take a couple of very mild sleeping pills. The days leading up to labor can be draining for the whole family, but compensating for that lack of sleep can be hazardous. Stressed by the simultaneous pregnancies of his daughter and his wife, George is understandably exhausted. Reaching the end of his rope, George vents to his friend Frank, who gives him a seemingly simple solution, sleeping pills. Underestimating their effectiveness, George passes out cold almost immediately after taking them. And sure enough, his daughter goes into labor shortly afterwards. Hilarity ensues as George is dragged to the car, where from the passenger seat, his unconscious body nearly causes an accident and a fight with some strangers. Things don't slow down once they're at the hospital, though, as his wife shortly goes into labor as well. Nice timing, I know. Number 9. I Want My Larry, Jr. Childbirth can make any mother aggressive. But imagine the dangers of being around a man the size of Arnold Schwarzenegger when he goes into labor. Enjoying some peace and quiet at a retreat for expectant mothers, Alex, the father-to-be in this gender-swapping comedy, feels the baby coming. Suddenly, his not-so-elaborate female cover is a lot harder to keep up. Yet when he starts yelling for Larry, it's with such intensity that no one would question the fact that Larry must be the father. Arnie is in fine form in the scene, delivering perfectly over-the-top physical comedy as his character breathes through the pain. I want my Larry! Number 8. A Last-Minute Marriage – Lethal Weapon 4 When a pregnant woman makes a request, you should listen. That goes double when she's already in labor. By the time Riggs arrives at the hospital, Lorna is already deep into her contractions, and her demands kick into high gear. Clearly distressed, Lorna grabs another patient's IV before asking Riggs to marry her. Go get a minister. Now? Yeah, right now, because we're getting married. It's a deeply touching moment perfectly undercut when she hilariously begins insisting that they get married that very moment, or there is no baby. Finding a bemused but ultimately accommodating rabbi, they wind up getting unofficially married in the hollowed halls of the hospital, complete with a broken glass and a mazel tov. Number 7. The Miracle of Birth – Monty Python's The Meaning of Life Opening their bizarre comedy on a memorable note, the Monty Python crew notice their delivery room is far too empty. Oh, it's barren, isn't it? Demanding handfuls of machines, including an expensive one and a beeping one, they clearly have a very detached understanding of their role as medical professionals, so much so that they initially forget that they need a patient. Doing absurdist comedy the way only they can, the men of Monty Python then deliver the baby violently and with plenty of aggressively honest commentary. They end off by waving the baby in the mother's face in a way you wouldn't want to revisit, be it on VHS, Super 8, or Betamax. Shocking, but funny. Don't you worry. We'll soon have you cured. Leave it all to us, you'll never know what hits you. Number 6. Delivery a la Dr. Kosevich. Nine months. It's important to make a good entrance, and boy, does this pair have it down in an art form. Entering the hospital, Rebecca flies across the floor on her wheelchair, ending up in another patient's room before Sam comes after her. Finding out that the inexperienced Dr. Kosevich will be handling the delivery, I'm a little nervous, okay? It's my first delivery. They whine and yell, scaring him into ranting about the packed hospital before admitting it's his first birth. As Rebecca starts freaking out at a doctor so incompetent, he doesn't know what an epidural is. Their friend Gail tears her husband a new one in the heat of her pregnancy. It's double the mayhem in this delivery room and twice the laughs. Number 5. The Taxi Ride to the Hospital How to Be Single Births don't always wait for a convenient time. While that can be a serious headache in real life, on film, it's an opportunity to get creative with the laughs. With Meg's water breaking in the street, 
Robin commits life and limb to scoring a taxi for the ready-to-pop mother-to-be. Vacillating between supportive friend and wildly immature, Robin simultaneously holds onto phone and the panicked future mother with their friend Alice while giving genuinely helpful updates about the progress of the birth. I went to medical school, is that so hard to believe? Her inconsistent care of Meg reaches its comedic climax. When unable to open the car door, she hurls herself and the pregnant mother out the window before realizing the door was just locked. At least she's dedicated, right? Number 4. A Water Birth Exorcism – The Backup Plan I'm gonna be out here, okay? If you have anyone committed to all natural methods in your life, well, enjoy this moment. While Zoe and Stan try to adjust to the parental experience as outlined by the single mothers and proud group, fellow member Lori starts her water birth, which proves to be a lot for Zoe. Screaming, she insists Zoe is her focal point, forcing the terrified mother-to-be to stay in the room while she goes demonic. I can't believe you're her focal point. Grabbing Zoe, Lori does what can only be described as her best exorcism impression. The final push proves so hard to watch <laughs> that Zoe faints into the birthing pool as the baby comes out. Not exactly a great sales pitch for the expectant mother. Number 3. Angie describes the feeling of labor. Baby Mama Your water is breaking! The universe has some very gross ways of getting people back together. After almost parting ways following a legal battle, Kate and Angie work together. When Angie's water breaks, Angie is uncharacteristically serene. Right up until her arrival at the emergency room, that is, when she gives one of the most hauntingly visual analogies for a birth ever. Feels like I'm shitting a knife! Yelling at cops and destroying hospital equipment on her way down the hall, she certainly manages to get the attention of the nursing staff. It's the chaos, beauty, and humor of birth served up all at once as only Amy Poehler and Tina Fey could present it. Number 2. A Two-Man Job – Bridget Jones's Baby Good God, Bridget, you're immense! When you can't get a ride, you have to make do with whatever, or rather, whoever is available. Detracting ever so slightly from the heroics of his gesture, Mark has to stop to breathe when the weight of a very pregnant Bridget becomes too much. I can take it from here. From here. Okay, I got this! He's finally relieved by Jack, who smugly takes over before realizing exactly what he signed up for. Calling Mark back for what he calls a two-man job, the pair finally gets Bridget to the hospital before getting stuck in the doors. Twisting her inside, they arrive so exhausted they almost throw her on the counter. It's unglamorous, but then again, Bridget's life has always been a comedy of errors. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Are you in unbearable pain? Is it inhuman? My darling, is it torture? We. Oui. Number 1. Allison, the mother of all mothers, knocked up. You want to be the doctor? Because I really don't need to be here. A word of advice, don't critique a pregnant woman. Allison is already far along when the doctor comes in to help, pleading for an epidural. I want an epidural, I know there's time! Allison insists she can stop the birth just to make sure she can get one, even though it's clear she's past the point of no return. As she expresses her pain like a banshee, one of the doctors tries to get her to bring it down a notch, which proves a big mistake. Barely able to keep it together, she focuses all her rage and yells Jay right out of the room. Allison owns that delivery room, which is a point she makes hilariously clear to every man in there. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.